Janome. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Live with Janome. I'm Ann Hine, Embroidery Software Specialist for Janome America. So welcome. Today, we are going to be talking about bringing designs from our CM17 over to our computer so we can work with them there. And before we go there, let me put the camera on. And I have my countdown tree up. And we are at day 15, so I have the five pieces of the tree and 10 ornaments on there. And of course, Ginger Pink is here with, with her friends. We have Trashy down here. And then I also brought over a little tweet to visit. So little tweet is a little birdie we did a while back. It's a stuffy in the hoop, a very simple one, just an outline design. And then I created this uh, embroidered fabric here. This is actually from another design that I converted it was a line, I think it was a quilting design, and then I turned it into a uh, step fill design for just the lines. So it's pretty cool. So anyways, we have that. So today we're going to be talking about bringing our designs from our CM17 over to our computer. Now, when you bring them over there, it's going to look like I've loaded them into the Artistic Digitizer program. But those, that is not exactly where they are. They're actually in your computer. And I'm going to show you that. Um, when we get done today after that, I'll show you where it is in my computer so you can be able to find yours. I do demo on a Mac, but it's very simple. I'll explain a little bit when I get to that part. All right, so let's go to the software. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to close my browser and come over here. There we go. Get that little X out of the way. Okay, so... When you come in here, you do want to go to your browse function because this is where you're going to access your machine. I am connected wirelessly, so you can see my machine here, and I can also see my built-in samples down here. So I have two USB sticks in, and I have stuff on both of those. I have things in my built-in drive as well, so you can see that. So all of these are available to you. If perchance when you open your browser, you might see the recents. You'll have to come down here and open your devices. And at the very top of my devices, I have a USB stick that's in my uh, computer itself. So I have lots of things. I can get my designs from lots of places. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to my favorites. I'm going to come in here to my embroidery design folder and I'm going to make a folder. Now I did one earlier today, so I just wanna remove that one. And when I remove it, it deletes it. So I'm going to come here, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna remove my, my folder because I just added a few designs in there and yes, I want to. So that deletes them. Okay, now the next thing, I could remove it from favorites, but I really wanted to delete it. The next thing I wanna do is make a uh, folder here, so put my designs on. It looks like they're going into my favorites under this tab, but this is actually uh, my embroidery design folder is actually on my OneDrive, so I can access it in both my PC and my Mac. So you're going to right click, select new folder, and then type in here. Um, I think I'll type uh, CM17 designs. Remember to hit enter or return to save your name. And then within there, I want to make another folder, or I can make more folders for the groupings of designs that I bring over. And the first group I'm going to bring over, I'm calling designer designs. There we go, enter. And now let's go get those designs. We will come down here. I'm going to click on built-in samples. Now I am connected wirelessly so that all of these will load in here. And I've been going back and forth, so we probably most of them have may have come over. They do a little spinny thing when they're when they're coming over. So there we go. These are all the designs. Now I could copy them all at once. That's a lot to take at once. I'm going to do them in groups because I think that would just be easier 
and then I could just come up with my own names of where I what I want for them. Or you can look in um, in the manual, and you can see the different groupings, so you know which ones you want. So these are the designer ones from up here. So I'm going to click on that one, left click, and then I'm going to go to the end of the designs and hit Shift and click to select all of those. There's 24 of them. Then I'm going to right click and copy. Then I'll go up to my favorites. I'll go to my embroidery design folder. I'm gonna go in here to where it says CM17 designs. There's my designer's designs. And I'm going to let, right click again and paste. And it's asking me if I want to copy them over there. I'm sure I do. Yes, I do. So I'm going to do that. And now they're all in that folder. If I go back, you'll see the folder. There are the designs. The other thing I could have done when I have them uh, all in copy, when I go back here, let's go back to the built-ins right here. And when I hit, let's undo that for a minute. Let's go here. And we'll just bring in this many. So I can copy them and I could also open them if I wanted to, which I copied them. But if I want to open them, I can select open. And then the software will put each of those designs on a separate page. Okay. If I wanted them all on the same page, I could right click and paste. They're gonna load in on top of each other. And then I'll, I can just move them from here. Like that, hopefully they stay together. I think they are. Oops, where did that other one go? There we go, the rabbit. There we are. So now they're all on the page. Let me go back. If I wanted to work with all of those together, that's how you get multiple designs on one page. Or if you want to open multiple designs, you get individual pages. So I am going to close these because I don't need these open while I'm working with uh, my other designs because I want to show you a couple more things. Now that those designs are in my, fo my folder, I can access them through the software or through my computer. So if I go up here to favorites and I open my uh, embroidery folder, oops, I don't think I open the embroidery folder, there we go, and my CM17 designs and my designer designs, maybe I want this design. So I'm gonna double click, there it is. Now I can add lettering to this. Uh, maybe I wanna say, uh, happy new year. Uh, maybe I want to put it in a banner type thing like that. These aren't very big, so let me go this way and make them a little larger. There we go. And if I do envelope, I could do this kind of an envelope or these are these put them in kind of a shape. I could do that kind of thing if I want to. It's a little big for here, but I could play around with that. Or if I... Let's see what else is good. The bow tie one, it's kind of hard to see the bow tie one, but I could do that, play around with my lettering and make that work. And so I do have a letter right here that's not coming in, but I can fix that when I go back, I can make that fill in. So we won't worry about that at this point, but that's how you work with those designs. So let me close this. And then let me show you where these are in your computer. So I'm gonna, go to my, I'm gonna close this actually, minimize this, and I'm gonna open. Um, on, on a Mac, you have what's called your finder. And so in your finder, you can go to your folder. Here's my design folder. Now in a PC, you would go to your design folder. Mine is usually on the right-hand side, maybe it's at the bottom. I would open it up, I would go to my embroidery folder, open my embroidery folder, and look in there, and lo and behold, Here's my CM17 designs. There's my, it says designer designs. And here are all those designs that are in, in the folder. 
And if I wanted to do something with those, maybe I just want to load them to a USB stick. Um, I could very well do that uh, from, from this point if I wanted to. Here's my USB stick. So if I select that, uh, I can I could just uh, click and drag if I wanted to or open it here. It says open with artistic, which is my default. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag right here. There we go. And you can see it is in my um, on my stick right now. It's outside my EMB folder, which is fine. You can do that with uh, a CM17 and some of the other machines because it does have an up arrow. But if you want it in your EMB, just select it, drag it down. And now I'm in my EMB folder. Let's open the EMB folder. And you'll see that design right there. And of course, there's the EMBF if you need to load it in there. Um, I can create folders at this level as well. So when I'm ready to go to the machine, I would close my USB stick and I would take it to the machine and I could stitch it out that way if I wanted to use a design through a USB stick. So that would be how you do that for any machine, really. So I'm going to close my finder. I'm going to put my camera back on. Let's see here. There we go. All right. So if you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. I always come back and check them um, after the live is over and over the next couple of days. I do get a notice um, when I do have comments there. So if you have something, a question about what we did today, or you're having a difficulty, any of that kind of stuff, let me know, and I'll be glad to help you with that. So thank you for joining me today. It's been a great afternoon with you. I really appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget, we have lives Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern time right here on the Genomi Sewing Machine page. And of course, on Fridays, we have them on the Continental Club page at 3 p.m. as well, Eastern time. So be sure to join us any of those times. Lots to learn. We love sharing with all of you. So have a great day, everyone. We'll see you again soon.